why do you think that healthcare disparities is an important part of the curriculum? So the healthcare disparities course is a course that all of the first year medical students take in the first eight weeks that they're here at Pritzker. And it exposes us to a variety of different cultures and gives us an understanding of what we might encounter in the more urban environment of Chicago. This course is an important part of the curriculum because it really brings everybody up to speed in terms of the disparities in the United States at the moment. Um, everyone in our class comes from different backgrounds, hasn't been exposed to everything that we're going to see as medical students and as future physicians. We have a number of guest speakers from the faculty and from the community that come and talk to us about their experiences with different disparities within the community. I think it's really important to learn the background and the history of uh, different patient populations coming to your clinic, especially for those of us who want to work in urban environments. You're going to encounter people from a very different socioeconomic backgrounds, cultural backgrounds, ethnic backgrounds, and they all bring something different to the table. So by understanding that and really learning the history of what people might be bringing, it helps you to be more open to somebody whose perspective is going to be really different from your own. Outside of the classroom and the course, are there any activities for students to get involved in addressing healthcare disparities? Throughout the school year, there are a lot of opportunities to do both community service work or work in free clinics. Um, go to women's shelters, things like that, so that you really get a feel for working with different populations. I think there are a lot of opportunities to be involved in your specific interest area. For example, my group during the Healthcare Disparities course did a project regarding free mammogram ac access on the south side of Chicago, which was something that we were interested in. And we found that mammography was not very available to women with low resources on the south side of Chicago and that there's a free program called the Illinois Breast and Cervical Cancer Program that provides these mammograms. We're hoping in the future to educate some of these referral specialists as to the availability of the Illinois Breast and Cervical Cancer Program so that that's something that they can refer their patients to and really get some access for some of the women on the South Side. So I've been uh, part of two different programs here at Pritzker. One of them was the Mini Medical School Day, and during that day what we tried to do is bring in students from uh, different high schools around Chicago. What we wanted them to do was learn a little bit about their bodies, about the human body, and uh, the diseases that affect them. So we taught them a little bit about the heart, about diabetes. Uh, we even had a session where the students were able to look at a dissected heart so they could see exactly what it looked like inside and how it sort of worked. Have any of you been able to volunteer at these clinics? Yeah, I, I was actually the co-coordinator for the Community Health Clinic, which is a clinic on the west side of Chicago that serves mainly a Latin American population and a Polish population. And it's, it's a continuity clinic, so we do get to see the same patients every once in a while. Um, so it's, it's a great experience for all involved. I had a chance to volunteer at the Maria Shelter several times, which is a shelter for women and their children. I had a chance to speak with a pregnant woman um, who needed some counseling on prenatal vitamins and smoking cessation. And I really came to understand a lot more about the issues facing some of the women that found themselves there at the shelter. It was a really valuable experience all the times that I went. Volunteering at Washington Park Clinic is one of the, my favorite things I ever did here. Um, we get to help uninsured kids, which is just awesome. Um, and you do everything from vaccinations to sports physicals to actually trying to get these kids onto All Kids, which is the Illinois Free Insurance for um, Kids Under 18 program and things like that. So you're really trying to find primary care homes for a lot of them. Uh, it ex exposes us to a lot of very unique very different things that we may not have seen before. Mm -hmm.